Alright, well I'm gonna show you for today, so let's get going. So this next reaction is performing in the most important shows of my career. Story time on my my most my lovely favorite of mine and that is Kid Bandit. You know, really I just um you know, I just <laughs> What? I just... <laughs> okay, yes, I, I... I I just really like Kid Bandit so much. That's all. That's all I, that's all I had to say. People are going to ask, why are you so obsessed with um, Kid Bandit? I, I just... I don't know. It's... Ah, shit! My finger! <laughs> but, um... Oh, yeah, man. Let's, let's just do it. Five, four, three, two... Being an anime protagonist is expensive work. Case in point. Absurd. You see, in order for me to continue living my lavish lifestyle... Hey! Stop! 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 Hey! Out! Get! I have to do my share of community service. Thank you for saving me! No, 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 this, this is money. Give me money. Uh, I'm broke. I, I don't have any money. Get, get back here. Hey, wait! so much better I would die happy oh my god let's 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 take a look at it again <laughs> that was funny I have to do like my share of community service thank you for saving me no, 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 this, this is money give me money uh, I'm broke oh. I, I don't have any money get, get back here <laughs> hey wait <laughs> I have no regard for my safety, and I sure as hell have no regard for any of theirs. Yo. <laughs> I always think this is That was so cool. Wow, that was so funny. It's <laughs> like... Money. Let, um, I'm broke. Get back here! Get back here! <laughs> Yo, that was funny right there. That was so funny. Oh, hi, how's it going? I'm Kid Bandit. Welcome to my YouTube channel, and also welcome to my hotel room. I am here in Dallas, Texas, to perform for Effie's Big Gay Brunch, uh, which is run by GCW as part of the collective. I will be performing at the queerest one of them all, the Big Gay Brunch, it, which is also the biggest queer show so far. Uh, we're going to make it bigger next year. Um, and yeah, I, I just wanted to give a little quick update on how it is. The atmosphere is kind of insane um, let me give you a little bit of a, a backstory of what mania weekend is mania weekend is when all of indie wrestling kind of gather together and go to oh, yeah. whatever wwe's 
biggest I'm show of the year, WrestleMania, whatever town it's on. Same time, wow. Every promotion, every indie wrestler wants to get in on that nice little wrestling festival kind of mindset. It's like Warped Tour, but with wrestling. And the main event will be WrestleMania on the third night or fourth night because it did start on Thursday. I am actually going to be in my very first Mania weekend this year uh, because I've only been wrestling for less than a year. Uh, so I'm pretty lucky to be I'll part of uh, this year's Mania weekend. Um, and I'm booked in one of the bigger, bigger shows. Um, that said, it, it does kind of hit different because right now, Texas did pass some very transphobic laws that... It is the latest fight over oh. transgender rights. And once again, the epicenter is Texas. Governor Greg Abbott and State Attorney General Ken Paxton have directed state agencies to conduct investigations of families when they provide gender-affirming medical care for transgender children. Like, I, I can't believe that they do that. And now I think it's highly appropriate that Big Gay Brunch is running in Texas this year because... Oh, that sucks, man. Cause I did not know that Texas was so into the homophobic. But I don't, I don't think that Miss... Well, I don't think in my hometown, Michigan, I don't think they have not so many transphobic out there. Somehow, the whole Michigan is celebrate the whole LSD btq com communities and i'm glad i i'm glad that i support lgbt community as well because you know i'm you know i just thought that if i would have able to date one of the transgender women then somehow i'm gonna learn that it's okay to date any transgender, transgender you want to, including yours, Cake Bandit, um, Jamie, and Nala, and Nala Rose, and the others, uh, transgender wrestlers that actually are okay with it because you know it's not fair and all that yada yada yada. Like, come on now. Ain't that serious, man, to hang on one of the transgender wrestlers because it's their thing. Like, I'm okay if any of transgender sports they like, do what they want because it's none of my business. Because I, all I ever wanted was to see some other, you know, man and woman and a lot of trans, you know, transgender volunteer for it every single time, and that's the only reason why I support uh, LGBTQ communities because, you know, it's my it's my thing. You know, that's what I do. Express when it comes, you know, when it's coming to that um at June, of course. So yeah, but uh. But yeah, man, that's that's so kind of how this happens still, and I'm praying for I'm praying for you, kid Ben and the uh, and the other transgender woman, um, wrestler, yeah, uh, transgender wrestler out there, um, that you haven't been problems with, um, that what the hell is going on, man, it's it's a tough world that's going on out there, man. Like, I, I can't believe that they do that. And now, I think it's highly appropriate that Big Gay Brunch is running in Texas this year because I get to use this as an opportunity, as a platform to hopefully show whichever scared trans child uh, that's into wrestling is watching that you can be, you can be yourself. There is a future for you, and I'm so sorry that you can't fully embrace who you are here where you live, but know that there is a bright hope. It's, mm -hmm. I wish I could do more. I am a performer, I'm an entertainer, and all I can really do is show you that I get to do what I love as myself, and hopefully that makes you fight for, to be your true authentic self.
always. It's going to be a hard-fought battle, especially because the laws are going against you. But hang in there, okay? Anyway, the, the event's going to be amazing. <laughs> there, I just found out my match today. I'm going to be in a multi-person scramble. Only one person wins. And the rules vary de depending on where you do it. Uh, I, there are some scrambles where only two people start in the beginning. Sometimes, you know, everybody's in the, there right away. It's very, very chaotic. And putting together a <laughs> match like that is usually He's hard in the for the rain, everyone the involved. But the match itself is usually easy individually because you only really need to remember your cues. So I think that I will have a lot of fun. It will be my very first time wrestling in a dress. I've always been masculine presenting whenever I wrestle. I've never really had the self-esteem to yeah. take good care of my fashion sense. So I would get up there and my, my kid bandit masculine makeup is so easy. I just put my fingers on eyeshadow, smear it on my eyes and draw a line. And it's so simple. Feminine me, I, I do want to like present myself as very clean as possible. Make sure my makeup's on point, all that stuff. And, and no, no, I absolutely would wrestle a lot more feminine wise if I just was able to overcome my inherent laziness. But, <laughs> and once I have appropriate gear, which I actually have, uh, I have some designs come up. I have a, I have a gear designer who I'm very, very excited to work with, uh, and a gear maker who I'm very, very, very excited to work with. So, I, I hope when it, have, when it comes, it's gonna be incredible, and I get to feel as pretty as I will feel in the gay brunch because the dress I will be wearing for the big gay brunch is it, it's a, just a goth dress. It's not supposed to be athletic. It, it, there, there's no room to breathe, and I will shoulder that pain because I want to look pretty and you know you, you sacrifice for beauty and fashion all the time. And if if you if you're watching this and you don't know what I'm talking about, once you decide to I look know what you're good about. and and you realize that the clothes that you wear are very it's not function over form, it's form over function ninety percent of the time, you'll understand the pain that I'm talking about. Anyway, I took up way too much time doing this. I have to get ready for a show tonight and I'm actually not competing but I'm gonna bring my stuff just in case I might get a spot and there's gonna be rock and roll there's gonna be lots of you know wrestling it's gonna be exciting and that's why I'm wearing a hardcore band shirt not because I listen to them frequently but because I think the crop top look, looks great it fits my fit actually let me let me stand up and show everybody this is how I'm gonna look tonight. I hope I look pretty. Mm. Okay, that's all. Thank you so much. And wish me luck. Oh my lord. Oh! Just brutal. Could it be? History could One, be made. Two. The submission wait, wait, specialist! Wait a minute! No. Steal a Kid Bandit's oh moment! No. Oh my gosh! The Bicon! No, 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 no! Wait, wait a wait, second! What is this? Wait! Oh! Kid Bandit almost turned it around with a leverage pinfall! Oh, wow. Kid Bandit with a stunner! Oh, what a stunning stunner from Kid Bandit! Transgender Mind Bender! This could be the moment of their lifetime! What we're about to see, it looks like, is history about to be made if Kid Bandit can pull this off. Oh my god. No, nobody's home. Jordan Blade is getting up and putting. Are we going to see? Oh. Nothing fancy, no, no flips needed you know? to choke. Hello, I just got back from Dallas. Uh, yeah, I did Big A Brunch. Uh, and Saturday, it was amazing. It is now Monday. I spent most of Sunday just sleeping and flying back to California. It was incredible. 
It really was. I had a very impromptu decision to go to WrestleMania night one. And fun fact, something cra some crazy coincidence happened <laughs> while I was filming this video oh, like a while ago. So I'll probably post that in the blooper section of the this video. But yeah, uh, I saw. Uh, I only went because I wanted to see if my my T-shirt Cody Rose was gonna be in the in the car. Oh, yeah. He was. It was, incre uh, it was incredible. I, there was actually a viral video of me. Like, you know, like just like reacting to his debut, and the only reason why I started, I I had my friend film, was because I, I wanted to showcase my disappointment had it not been Cody, and it was Cody, so you know, like that was a that was just me, like you know, really happy, and uh, yeah, so let me go talk about Big Game Brunch real quick. How my experience there was, it was very empowering. Um, I watched the match again. I ordered it off Fight TV. It was, it was very empowering. I got to be, I got to be me in Texas. I'm non-binary trans, yo. Like, I'm kind of like something that Texas is trying to get rid of, I guess, and validate. So being able to do the show as as me. And be unabashedly proud of who I am. It's kind of it was amazing, you know. I, I'm, I'm listening to commentary, and and they were just like whenever they used they or she for my pronouns, I'm like, yo, like you know, I mean, I'm okay with he, he, him, but like I was just like hearing them just be very supportive. You know, the crowd it was very into me. I think. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how, how, how to put it in words, how grateful I am that I get to live my dream, you know? I get to just travel, travel the nation, do what I love. I wish I could say more, but I think words cheapen the moment, I guess, because like, I can't, I can't put, I absolutely can't put into words how I feel being able to and, and like that's why i like struggled so hard to like make this video one because like you know this is my my first youtube video and two because i i a part of me doesn't feel like this is real yet this whole wrestling running it feels like it's happening to someone else almost <laughs> Because no way is this all happening for me right now. I I'm just I'm just me. It happened so fast, so fast for me. And I've always I've always joked about how woefully unprepared I am for success, and I am. I don't know how to do it, but I I do plan on going going at this as strong and as as much as possible because now I have a chance to actually have a good meaningful impact in people's lives uh, because of what I present what I show and uh, who I am and ultimately like I guess like a fan like you know really put it into perspective over the weekend is like whenever I whenever every step of success I take is ju not just my success but like for those who cannot be me or cannot do be themselves like you know they, they get to live vicariously through me and, uh, and like I, I gotta I gotta work hard to not let anyone down I'm I'm rambling you know <laughs> frazzled with the WrestleMania weekend high is still very much going on. You know, I love what I do. I love my art. I wish, uh, I wish it would never end. I guess that's it. Um, so I'm Kid Bandit. This is my YouTube channel. I'm gonna be making more videos uh, moving forward. I hope, I hope the content is gonna get stale. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing half the time anyway. <laughs> Um, right. please uh, feel free to buy my merch. Uh, I'll attach uh, my link tree right here. Uh, please support me on Patreon. Um, so financially support me. 
uh, so I could put on more content for the future because you know yes um, it's it's amazing all right that should be it take care everyone and this is the very first episode of my nice little YouTube show slash vlog slash whatever uh, how do youtubers end it I'm just gonna stop Wait, there's one more. Uh, yeah, I had an impromptu decision to go to WrestleMania. Um, uh, the Saturday, the night one of WrestleMania. Um, and I jokingly said, "Oh, I want to do it on on the off chance that my teacher Cody Rhodes." Oh my god, you just texted me. Oh, what, the, what the hell? Okay, I shouldn't res I should not respond. I should not respond that right away. What the f are the chances that he would text me as I mentioned his name? This is this is pretty wild. Uh, I'll include the screenshot. <laughs> I'll try to include the screenshot or <laughs> post it right there. What the fuck? <laughs> Okay. I, I don't know if I think I should just cut this part. I'll put it in the bloopers. <laughs> okay. Mental note to like reply in a bit. Uh, he, he and I go back and forth. It's it's uh, yeah, he is a busy person, so he doesn't always respond to me like right away. Which you know, every time he does, I'm like, oh, oh, oh crap, it's Cody. He, he is my favorite wrestler of all time. <laughs> Okay, I need to stop being sad. I have a video to finish. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I went to Dallas, had, had a good time. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. I, I think I'm just going to put this at the back end of the video. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go reply. innocent it really is oh man yo if I ever wish that Kid Benny and I would uh, uh, you know close best friends and hang out together for as long as it takes like I know for a fact that um I know there's gonna be a lot of people gonna be like, oh, this is soup, this is soup on the loose. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. I just wish that, I mean, I'm still hate being single for quite a long time and still trying my best to it. But yeah, um, shout out to Kid Bennett for having a timer of his life man cuz you know uh Kate Bennett um was the only first time I ever knew about him, about him ever since I know about Kate Bennett from the beginning I was like whoa I like who the hell is Kate Bennett I like I like, he followed me I he, like he actually followed me from Instagram Twitter and Facebook I was shocked because I did not know that Kid Bennett would actually, you know, um, <clears throat> you know, know about me or almost, I think, but, um, um, somehow I would love to, like, you know, you know, as a Sandy Jack, I would love to, like, team up with him, uh, sooner or later when I first time. When I first wanted to be a wrestler, I just want to be more like The Undertaker, King, The Boogeyman, Mankind, or Mick Foley, of course. Um, 
Alistair Black because he learned a, I learned a martial arts along with uh, Shinsuke, Na Shinsuke Nakamura, the other Japanese wrestler and Chinese wrestler at the same time because the only thing is that all I ever wanted was to make my game very country because that was only my goal is to try and just to try to you know you know to reach for my goal and I'm still trying my best to do it and I know that my family my entire family wasn't even paying attention to what I wanted to do and <clears throat> you know for my mom and my for my mom I mean my mom never paid attention to everything because um, I guess uh, she would rather focus on me, you know, having a real job. And that's the only problem that nobody else would care about what your goal is to, like, you know, try to, like, reach it, try to reach your goal, and it didn't work at all. And it's, it's very struggle, man. It's very struggle for me to try. Because I know my, you know, my mom or my sister my brother never cared about everything, especially when I was a kid. Um, my mom would still never cared about me, so I guess that's how it happened. So, yeah. But um, but yeah, man. Let me know coming down below. What is your dream career to um of your hobby? Could it be like an actor? or anything anything that your hobby wants to be so yeah but uh comment down below and i'll see you in the next rest video oh and also by the way kim benny if you're watching this i love you and hopefully someday um we could make a skit together soon i, I mean I, it's very difficult for me to do it but i know you can but it's gonna be hard for me to do it, so yeah. But um, but yeah, man. Hopefully, we'll 